Hi, I'm Ken DeSessa from Revelwood, and we are an Adaptive Insights business partner. You know, templates sent to users during budgeting and forecasting are really key components to any company's planning process. Today, I'm going to show you Adaptive Insights capability in this area. So let's get going. In the Adaptive Insights solutions, sheets are where you can enter data for planning purposes. Color co coding is really important here. White cells, like these, are open for input. Gray simply means that the number is coming from somewhere else, maybe a supporting schedule. A blue background represents things like subtotals, and green actually represent actual data. So what you're seeing here is a forecast consisting of three months of actuals, and we're gonna be forecasting out the remainder of the year. Before I move on, I'd like to say something about security. The Adaptive Insights data is accessed via security system where you can assign individual securities to users based on what you want them to be able to see. I'm logged in as admin, so I can see all the data right now, but you would define your security so that people could see only data that's relevant to them. You'll see that I have a few selectors up here at the top. Right now, I'm in my forecast and planning for sales north. I could just as easily be planning for sales south by clicking that data and, and now sales south data would show up. But I'm gonna stick here and I'm gonna keep planning in my sales north territory. Something else of note, the purple triangle indicates that a cell has a formula in it. Formulas are extremely easy in Adaptive Insights. For example, in this cell, you can see that this field is calculated by taking the FTEs, full-time people, and multiplying them by an assumption for the cost per head for a telephone. And what's great about these formulas is that you can put comments in them. So anything after this hashtag is actually a, a, a comment so that any user can understand what's in that field. Another thing you might notice is a red triangle. A red triangle means there's a note contained within this cell. As you can see, we added additional finance staff. I could enter a note into any cell just simply by right-clicking on it and hitting Add a Note. So it's really simple to do. So as user is going to enter data into their plan by going into white cells and simply entering the data. Let's say we had a new maintenance contract. We could go and we could enter $1,500 into all those cells, or we can simply right click and do things like copy forward to the end. There's a lot of shortcuts into how to enter data. That was just simply one example. Let's say, I'm gonna save off that data, but let's say that I wanna plan for an entire year as opposed to month by month. What I can do is I can go to the year-end number and I could type in what I want my year to end up at and I get this break back. And I'm just gonna say break back proportionally. And you'll see what it does. It was smart enough to know that I've got close to $16,000 of actuals already this year. It took that out of the 50,000 and reallocated the rest proportionally across the remaining months. So there's a lot of great features for being able to, to access data and enter data in Adaptive Insights. I'm gonna go ahead and clear these cells right here for you. If I right click, you're gonna see this Explore Cell option. Explore Cell is a great tool. It allows me to go into any cell and see where that data is coming from and maybe how that data is calculated. It would show you the formulas if that was relevant. But what I wanted to show you here was this View Audit Trail. If I click on View Audit Trail, it's going to show me all changes made to that particular field. As you can see, it gives me the date and time that the change was made, the user, and it gives me the old and the new value. You can see I did these just today. It's a great feature that makes it really easy to understand what information has been entered into those fields. Earlier I mentioned uh, getting data from a supporting schedule. I'm gonna show you one of those supporting schedules now. 
So we always don't get to enter budget data at that individual account level. Right? Take salary and wages, for example. We're usually not going to enter in just one big number. Most often, companies are going to want to plan by individual person. If we go into this Explore Cell option again, what we'll see is that cell is coming from a supporting schedule. And that supporting schedule is called our workforce planning schedule. And as you can see, there's a lot of data associated with this workforce pl planning schedule, a lot of information you can enter, such as their title, their start dates, their end dates, and, and this would be customized to how you do your staff planning. But the bottom line is this is a detailed schedule, and the summary of this data rolls up into that one account. And we could have as many of these supporting schedules as you'd like in the system, depending on the type of planning that you do. So today's demo was meant to give you a very high level view of how to plan in Adaptive Insights. I hope you found it informative. And if you'd like to learn more, check out our YouTube channel or reach out to us at revelwood.com.